Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. Now, I know it's been a while. Um, I've My sleeping schedule has been fucked up. I've been waking up later than expected, so I've only been recording one game per day. So I do apologise for that. Um, but we're back now with Robocop Rogue City. Um, I've got about three hours left of this game. Before, well, three hours left before we finish it, before the end credits roll. If I'm going off other people's playlists um, on YouTube. I thought it was a car coming down then. Right, let's go find Spike, who apparently is supposed to be down here somewhere. Whether he is or not, that's a different story. So, let's figure this out, shall we? Do not enter. Right, here we are. We are still open. That, they look like more officers down there, the FBI or something. It's a bit suspicious though. Yeah. Man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. What are you talking about? Cheeky bastard. You got some kind of defect. I'll give you a fair a defect. Hello. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Thank you. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. I can say that. You did exceptional work at the bank. I Thank want you. you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. You're See, welcome. I grew up in this very apartment. Or what's left of it. It used to right. be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. A new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Any city improvements are welcome. I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction. Oh, you know if I didn't, because we're gonna be in your face. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced Defective, you see. with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder. Has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? How do you mean? It allows me to excel at my work. Enhancements allow me to excel in fulfilling my duty. Not only your actions, but your words confirm that you're an exemplary police officer. I do try. The reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. About I'm what? I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested... Well, it tends to happen when you get a dead man, put him inside a machine and connect shit to his brain. There's going to be a few problems. With Dr. They increase my performance, they're a waste of time, two sides to everything. Um... It two sides to everything. Perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. Uh, I'm sure I'll that do that. becoming I'll a try. liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is I will correct. shoot you. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Lewis needs medical attention. Police are concerned about OCP's intentions. See, I don't want to say that the police are concerned about OCP's intentions because if 
OCP truly are corrupt, which I have a, seek a sneaking suspicion they are, that they'll use that against the police and they'll know all the police know about this now. So we'll tr be ex extra cautious, as it were. And they'll try and silence those who are saying OCP are a bit of a shady company. And if I say Lewis needs medical attention... I've got a feeling they'll think, oh, Robocop, you know, he has a relationship with Lewis, you know, they're very good friends. That's a weakness that we can exploit. So regardless of what I say here, I think I'm going to lose something. I'm going to be honest. My partner has been but I'd rather sacrifice one life. Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. I mean, you can, but you're just a dickhead if you do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Take care of yourself. Thank After you. All, Holy shit, what was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Shut it. Turn to the streets. I thought we were coming here to shoot Spike in the face. I'm coming here to speak hey, to some old man. Done with the old man's tea party? I think so. Get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back off the biker's lead. Spike is right. still out there. I'll try. I'll try. I don't have three skill points that I should probably be spending. Save current skills. In all honesty though, I have been enjoying this game, but I've never seen a Robocop film. So, depending on whether or not I watch a Robocop film might change my opinion on this. But, like I say, it's, um... I've been enjoying this game. It vaguely reminds me of L.A. Noir, in a sense. But... You know, there's... Robo is a dick. They say that if Mills wins... That's a bit rude. Is that because of the graffiti artist? Because I made an enemy of him in quotations. Right. Oh, there you are. Hey, Pickles. So cool. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Maybe it's time to change his way, needs an extra kit, be careful, old habits die hard. The longer you stick to a path, the harder it gets to abandon it. Amen to that. Now, nah, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive yeah. him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it... I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, All right. your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Um, okay. Thank you. you have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I well, will not be involved in any illegal activity. That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Sure. If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go. What are you looking for? 
So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Yeah, that just sounds like most movies ever, mate, I'm gonna be honest. Sounds like most movies ever. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Boondock Saints? The owner. <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. And it did. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Weak. I'm not so sure about that. Alex Murphy got a second chance. Given a second chance. But he. I mean, you really deserved it. Which is something I couldn't say about a lot of people. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Fair enough. Tape scan, no matches. Hello? What have we got here? Are these real films? Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critic style. But the director right. is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under Diamonds pressure. Are made under great pressure. Wait, you think there's a diamond within me? You see my shine. I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspiration. But let's get back to it because that's not our tape. All right, sweet. Nothing in I'll thriller look. or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Okay, just one here. Eve's Eve's flower. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool. Is all I'm saying. Alright. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know, movies, there's value in that. Movies, there is value in that. Yep, there's nothing better than a good movie. But we're still missing our tape. Action as well, he said, Werner. There's one there. Let's just check this off side as well. No matches. Okay. Celestial Decay. Mm. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. When the book is closed, you cannot reopen it. You cannot reopen a closed book. So when you're done, you're done? That's rough. Probably true. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire. But here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Uh, tape? What? What tape? You like movies? 
Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, <laughs> camera, action! I need a hand over here! Find pickles. First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But, uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. He probably gave Briggs his address though, no? That's a guess. Turn to the streets. Why were they looking for a movie? It's a very weird thing to look for. Especially if you're criminals, you know? No signs of recent use. The door was recently opened. You're all right. Talk. Ah. Uh. I overheard some torchheads saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. We need more helpful eye than me. You have bigger problems than that. That I'm not is not for the this. kind of help I was willing to provide. Come on, give me a break. I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I will spend it wisely. With you, if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. But thanks anyway. You're my savior, Tim. But what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like, what's the point? Food? Pay for rehab? I don't know. Well, we've helped this fella out before, to be fair, so he might be more willing to help us than others. Baron. Greetings, citizen. Ah, huh, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. What, the car, Jack? 
Well, the car ramp. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, right. you know what the problem is? What the problem is? Level out. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the ignition coil. coil. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Hmm. Where else is there anything wrong? Battery? No. Yeah. So I'm all, uh, Mm. There is nothing else. Why is there? Um. The fuck. Ah, there we are. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm guessing this is an easy fix. Maybe. It started. We own the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. Hmm. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. It wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs, too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. So about the tattoo design, you said I'm struck bird. Oh, hello. Alright, uh, fella. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I'll bring out your jawline? I have enough scars. My body wears enough scars. Believe me, you can never have enough of these puppies. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Well. Uh. Do we have no proof? I'll fucking find some then. How about that? Butchers mentioned several pages. You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red anchor? I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is so, he? Good man. Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. 
you can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Oh, I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Plate number required. Acquired, sorry. Find the right motorcycle. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Is he now? Come on, come on. It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? Cooperation increases efficiency. Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? They bore me. I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team for the good of this city. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for this city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. All right. Find the right motorcycle later. Right. I know there was. Um, I remember the police saying that there is a specific um, guy who just isn't that good, to be honest. So we'll have to wait and see. There is a specific uh, politician who's a bit of an arsehole. Player numbers, no match, no good, one here too. No good. Well it said they just painted a um, a vulture on the logo, don't they? Well, a vulture on the gas tank. So, let's have a look around. Hello. Found it. Spike, my good man. It could be time to perish.
this time. Where is it? Right now? So I better be in front of the screen. Operator, Can't really hear him because of that fucking radio. Heavy blood loss. There we go. Transmission equipment detected. Where's this radio gone? Because he had a walkie talkie, didn't he? Or whatever you want to call it. So will that not reveal anything? Stolen watch. Crime evidence. Oh, hello. Note with safe code combination. There's a safe somewhere in his apartment. Use computer. Aha. Uh -huh. Evidence. Transmission target, old mall. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. All right, let's extract Spike. Get him out of here. Get him back to the police station. Spike in a haystack. Now what? plan find Weddell, Wendell Antonowski okay new objectives go let's get a move on Where we're heading to anyway, we're just gonna head to Wendell's location. Right. Apparently, he's around here somewhere. Look who it is, the reporter woman. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some big wig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big wig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. Please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. It looks a bit like Alan Rickman. Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. 
I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Much trouble. Oops. Can't. All right. Whatever. Right, they're everywhere. You're dead. Hey, you metal fucker! Wanna go this bit? Fleet total robo cap! Why does it look continuous? Alex? Is that you? Come to us. A malfunction. Yeah, waiting for you. Don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, hello. Right then. Got bad guys to kill. Oh. No, 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 no. Dad? Are you coming? I think so. I'm not sure yet. Open! Oh god, continuous corridor. Dad, are you here? I'm scared. Come find me, please. Why won't you come for me, Dad? Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me alone. Where are you? Hello? Me and then. Those are just mannequins. Lots of them too. Upstairs, right, cool. Oh my god, look, they're moving. Oh no. One of us anymore. You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. What's going on? You're something that should never have been rocked. Something that should not exist. Oh, what the fuck is going on? 
We have to erase. Oh, just give me an attack. Just come to us. Come to the rooftop. Which door? Ugh. Hello? No? Fuck's sake. I'm getting more annoyed than anything now. Wee! Made it. Helicopter, no? It's the crap that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. Jesus Christ. You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? Nice Coffee place. In the kitchen. Nice place. Do you like? Remember, I'm playing a game this afternoon. Remember, I'm playing a game this afternoon. Dad wouldn't miss it. Me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Where am I supposed to be going? Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Leave for work. Is this one of those things where I'm presented with a choice that I don't know about? Keep heading down then. Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attack. Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. No! Well, Alex was shot. Welcome, Chopper. Oh, hello. Let's take a stroll through your old. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing. This is a one family house Silence it. built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? I'm looking for. carry this burden. What, what is, is your, your sacrifice, sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Fucking okay, hell. Stinging me eyes, this. Oh, is that Alex? Alex Murphy. The one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. That you are still me and that I simply came back to life, but you're wrong. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are strong enough to shoot him. Just, just Don't to, forget uh... you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. 
Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy. I'm gonna have to do that again. Get up, Robo. Get up for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. Hey. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already been. You have the right to an attorney. I, I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. It's a family. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the. One question is though, who was he trying to meet? Because he was coming here to meet someone, wasn't he? Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town. That's right. For Mills, vote RoboCop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Interesting. All right, will do. Will do, boss. Goes from the past. Hopefully, we don't have any more malfunctions now after that. I knew he'd get Hopefully. It. I just knew he'd be the one. To Goes to a holding cell. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Seriously? Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Robocop evaluation. I, I don't even know there's an attack there. I don't even know there's an attack on the courthouse. No one told me anything about that. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You Thank seem you. to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is finally fighting for my rights. I wish they would leave me alone. I'm used I to it. I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? Um, yes, I, deserve it. I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I only seek justice, perhaps do not know. I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. 
Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical we have to? are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. Right. This wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently. Okay. No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Um. Corrupted visions of my past. Visions of my past. I think we're on to something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I uh. think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data. And at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. How do I know you're not supplying the villains with things, though, that I tell you, and then you'll now go in? Thinks he's human. Hey, Robo, so... could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Is it Pickles or is it Spike? It's Pickles. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Right. I've got three skill points. There we are. Skill points have been spent. Time to go downstairs. Speak to the holding person in the holding cell. Big pickles. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man. I'm curious if Spike was in one of these, but he's not. What are you doing here, anyway? What did you do this time? Well. Your buddies found me with some nuke that I bought with that money that you let me keep, remember? It turns out that the legal amount that you can carry is zero. Can you believe that? Yes. I can and I do. Yeah, you're the one who'd know. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We... We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell eh, was not really, mate. Suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. All right. To you later, partner. Let's head upstairs. Did you hear? The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? Everyone's heard. Actually, I do. Still not used to work with one hand. In my office. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. Feel Hello. Here? When? Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's what? faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Yes, Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? Could be. Uh, all, all signs, signs point, to point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about him? Can you trust him? Are you Washington? Or, um... Uh... He's trying his best. Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? 
I think she's another OCP she spy. Working with OCP. I, I think she's a spy. Say something like that. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington. Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Leave the precinct. Okay, let's go. Off we go. Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Off of the wheel spin again. Gibson Memorial Hospital. I've gone to see Lewis first. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. Losers. I walked in front of the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. Silver lining. Right. Please step aside. Patients need peace and quiet. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. Well, she's waiting for you, Murphy. She awake? Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party! If you don't got stuff to do brewing, first. You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? Yeah, had a shitload. I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, did not pull... You did not pull the trigger. No one could have predicted that. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. Does it not? I don't get well, is if don't know what to say them. actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And mm. why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? I don't know. That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. He might be. We should just lock him up already. We do not have any proof that it is him. I would like that very much. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you Like who? But the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even yeah, sure if he's in a state to talk. But it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Maybe anyway, not. Oh. I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. And... We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Come on, shift. Hey, where do you think you're going? 
Sue the old man. To the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I served this town with every drop of my sweat. I was trying to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Oh. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone at OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Oh no, I didn't die. It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I already am. I He's a bit of a prick. Never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. Ah. Before you go, could you be so kind? And give me some painkillers. Um, I'm not qualified not to do that. Qualified to administer medication. Please, anyone help me? God, I need my painkillers. How much longer do I have to stand this? Not much longer. The helicopter is on its way, sir. I'll give you your painkillers. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday. I didn't want to give him um, painkillers because I had a feeling he'd already had some and I didn't want to overdose him, so. I'm not allowed you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Do I? Why? Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for. Even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? This is no place for this hey, conversation. This is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys. I don't know who to trust. We should find him a cozy. I don't know who to trust. I don't trust anyone. I don't trust Lewis, I don't I don't trust anybody at the moment. The only person I trust is myself and my gun in my pocket. Why is there so many limousines here?
Permit must be displayed. I hope all three of you have permits, because if you don't, I will give you all tickets. Hey, you've got limousines, you can fucking afford to pay them. I don't know, man. I only seek answers. There's a gun there with some OCP recharges, so I've you got can. a feeling we could get into a firefight. Fuck off. Or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. That's what they've been doing with the brains, yeah? I had a feeling it'd be something like this. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new robots. Jesus Christ. Take a lot of fire. Uh, my jurisdiction, it's called my fault, put your ass. Ow. Alright, give me this Uzi. Enforcing peace. Enforcing peace. Fuck is wrong with this. Oh, yeah. Don't get excited. This was just a warm up. Robocop got something. A headless UED will start shooting other droids. It's a bug that ended a presentation in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm up is over. They didn't. I've done it already. All right. Oh, these are very good. The Tech Nines. Nice to have friends, isn't it? Give me that desert eagle. Come on. I will not come quietly. It's impossible for you to win. I see the simulations. Robocop, I've got some more on the UED project. The old right. man didn't like it much and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. Strong part of my urban enforcement unit. Your... 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 Your...
Come on. Reload. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Abide my jurisdiction. Abide my fault, your ass. This from my friend Sylvester Stallone. How's oh, that was positive? Give me a second, fellas. Slot me. All right, we're back. In the catwalk. Yeah. I think he is, isn't he? Oh, there he is. How's that? Come on. A lot of them sixties around here, which is keeping me well in ammo. Keeping me well armed. Come on, get reloading, quick, quick robo. Not have much time before they get up the stairs. recoil this thing had. Jesus Christ, oh there. One left. 
How was that? Nice. What the hell just happened? Hello. Becker. Oh, just stop right there. You're under arrest, mate. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I'm in RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. Well then. That's that, innit? Back at the police station. Robocop evaluation. Complete all, kill all hostiles in 10 minutes, there you are. B. Take it. Three skill points available. Nice. That should do it. What's going on over there? Confront Max Becker. Okay, I can do that. Let's get the armor up a bit more, and, like health and things. I think. Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Hey, Becker! Let me get my hands on him. Yeah. Optional. Take the motherboard. What motherboard? There must be a motherboard somewhere. Aha. Let's have a look at it. Change board. Is this the new one? Let's have a look at the stats. Weapon spread. More gore, that's cool I guess. Pellet rounds, single shot mode. Yeah, just go with a regular I guess, isn't it? Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, do you know what I mean? Investigate the disturbance, let's go. Alright yeah, mate. Look a bit wired mate. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's RoboCop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Please let me shoot him. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your crew needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! I don't fucking know how. 
Shot on me for. Bit angry, isn't he? First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. I right. have a job to do. All right. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As Becker. hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. He did just Can't ambush me. Prick. Sure uh. is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's got to be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start uh. by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Let's have a look at this real quick. I want to just have a look. Deceased. Missing. In hospital. In jail. Dead end. Leave the hey, precinct. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Oh, I wish you won't. Robo, do you have a minute? Yeah, what's up? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd I'd like to give you this. What is it? What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. Would I? I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Um, current day Detroit is my focus. Um, I yeah. I focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. I don't want to deal with if bups, maybes, or hypothetical situations at the moment. I'm dealing with the current situation. I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. Oh, fuck him. Be surprised if he was already... you, I doubt it. Ulysses seems a bit more of a... Hey, she is doing real good. She had that... He seems a bit more resilient than people make him out to be. Alright, fellas. Is that him? Nah, uh, just someone else. Alright, leave the precinct. Let's go. I'm gonna go head to jail and speak to um, Wendell. Let's go. They still keep that metal fuck running. 
What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. Alright. Alright, mate. You look distressed. Too good? Yeah? Alright. Looks a bit distressed. Robo, the prisoner's waiting in the visiting room. Thank you. Ma, which one to go through? Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. It was funny. Don't worry about it. It was funny. Right, Wendell, you prick. You're not Wendell. Who are you? Are you the warden or Good something? To see you in my prison, Robo. Yeah, you are. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I yeah. felt at home. Almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The okay. only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Although life went to trial, just no problem on the list. He's a slime. He is a criminal awaiting his trial. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. Okay. But now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So well, that's what he did outside as well. CP doesn't know who they're dealing with. Or there's something fishy going on. Well, it's quite clever, really. I think what he's doing is he's... I'm here to verify that. Ah, good. I'll let these two Come finish the conversation. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. Well, basically, what I think is... I think his end plan was to get the criminals to kill each other. And then that, that'd be it, wouldn't it? Because if all the criminals are killing each other, then the police don't really have much to worry about. And this makes OCP look out to be like this amazing organization when they start enrolling all these robotic police officers. OCP funds you, but Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. And no, I'm not Alan Rickman. Like he does look like Alan Rickman. I don't know why, but he does. And your mouth. As long as your hands are cuffed, I do not care. I keep my hands busy punishing criminals. I'm not interested in small talk. I'm not interested in small talk. Criminals is not embedded into my programming. No, you're selling yourself short, Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. Up to you by giving you that life back. I'm done playing your games. You cannot give me what I want. There is nothing left to be restored. I'm I done am playing your games. Force the law not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. Not gonna happen. Details of the project and the names of those involved. Prison break. Our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. No worries. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? 
I will turn them to the path of reform. I will deliver bullets into their faces. Free of charge, Amazon, first day, del same day delivery, you know. It's an armory. Yes. Jesus Christ. Man, I can't take it. These evil cunts and nasty wounds. These scumbags got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game. Uh. Illegal broadcast. Armor breaking, all right. Came here to deliver some bullets and some phases. Here we go, one. Here we go, one. Have a dig. Yes, I am. Shotsy. Right. Well, with that, let's turn off this fucking radio. Interesting. Oh, we gotta go round. Not that way around and stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I can't get in that way, so... Can I? No, I can't. Uh, how do I get up there? into the armory. Leroy opened the doors like a VIP. Armory time, armory time. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's see what weapons I can salvage before I move on. Combat shotgun. I got a Spas 12. Very nice. Right. Let's go see how well the Spas 12 performs in this game. This is usually the most consistent gun in most games, so... Let's see. Right, I think I'm gonna have to go round, aren't I? 
forgetting my... Breach. Hello. Alright, keep your head down then. I did shoot you, you're right. Oh, these are all... I see. I see. Hello. Right, is there a way up here I can um, open that side door? I don't think there is, is there? Nuke. I don't know why there's nuke in a prison, but whatever. And again, always, people are always smuggling things into prisons, aren't they? Hello. Are you? I am a dick, you're right. Hello. And I was in here earlier. I'm done, am I? Oh my god, he went through the wall. Are <laughs> you oh, shooting at me? Sit down. I knew there was going to be someone in one of these. Shut up. Hello. I've come to turn your shit music off. The fuck for that. Nice. Quiet. Peace and quiet. I have one shotgun shell. And I've got someone's head ready to explode with it. Oh, you're right, mate. This means we've regained control a bit, because you're all at ease and you and stuff. Everyone must be fucking dead. Oh, damn. Poor fella. That was the stairs. Hello. You should have put it down, mate. You should have just put it down. Have you? I've got him. Are you sure? Oh, 
have it. Oh, that's where we gotta go, but I wanna see what's in here. Hello. OCP recovery charge. This mission's been quite fun. Everyone dead? Robocop, I owe you. Don't worry about we it. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop? Give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Alright, thank you very much. I might need to go hit your armory again if you don't mind, though. Sir, go grab another gun. Block A is clean. Look, let's keep it there. Wait. wait. Oh, that's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Shame it'll go to waste. Yeah, now there's blood all over them. Excuse me, mate, can I have that off you? Please. Can I have your org? No? Okay. Say it like a halo. That's fine, I'll stick with a P227. I don't mind. It's a good gun. Wendell's confession. Right, tell you what. Like I said, I'm gonna go hit the armory again. Gotta make sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna take the SPAS 12. Uh, not the SPAS. I'm gonna take the SPAS 12. I don't wanna take. The org primarily because it is um, it has very bad recoil. The recoil is not that good. However, the shotgun was that toilet paper. Very good. Oh, that's, uh, not what I expected of myself. This was your first day. Wow, hell of a first day, yeah. Hey, mate. You mind opening this door for me, please? We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I yes. am ready to proceed. Okay, then. Good luck. Done everything I can on this side. I reclaim the armory. You know, I, um... I turn off the shit music. Glad you're here, Robocop. But I think I saw someone. Someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. Interesting. I promise. I've got a wife and kids. Please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. I'm not fighting. Robocop. New arrivals. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smoke screen uh, for Wendell. Dead. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. You're unarmed, I'll leave you alone. An yep, I can see that. If you're unarmed, I won't shoot you. But if you are armed, then I've got no bloody choice, have I? Oh, my arm is really good now. I'm not taking hardly any damage. But then again, these guys do only have pistols and shotguns, but even still. Even still. He's gonna kill me. Just give me the gun, What is the situation? That, that, that guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh, bullshit. This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me. Just let me go. I know where the other guards are. I'll head there right away. Let him go. Well, You're making a mistake. Then I'll shoot him. Drop it. If 
Never mind. I'd finish slacking. I asked her. Shit, never mind. Oh well. Oh well. To be fair, both of their arguments are just no. -uh, so, who was I gonna trust anyway? Jesus Christ. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. The property store room. These guys have some good armor. New weapon though. Oh, it's a um, G11. I remember this gun in Black Ops 1. Okay, now. Powerful. Taking damage again. You're not gonna kill me for jack shit, mate. Your move, creep. I've got mic control like alt delete. You alright? Warm Maurice. Don't Why do I remember me. you? I have laundry to do. You are not safe here. No. I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Besides, I've got orders. Orders? You are in emotional shock. You should report to the guards and get professional assistance. I've already lost one job because of you. I won't let you do it again. Get lost. Okay. That's fine. But like I say, I can't in good conscience leave some these um, soldiers in John Wick Chapter 3 armor alive. Know what I mean? Give me a second, guys. I just need to change my controllers over. And I'd rather do that now while I have a chance. Okay, we're back. Let me make sure that I'm coming through nicely. Just gotta make sure, like, you know what I mean? Am I, am I coming through nicely? I am indeed. Right. Let's get going. I think this gun's called the G11. I remember it in Black Ops 1. 
To unlock it, you had to unlock all the other assault rifles and stuff, though. You know what, I'm going to take the SPAS-12 because the SPAS-12 seems to do more. There you go. Quick, before someone throws the switch. Good, good. Not such a can-headed piece of shit after all. That's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you. There's an RC charge land on it. Doing that. Ah, uh, execution room. Oh shit. Merc's leader. You got a desert eagle. He's throwing smoke everywhere. Die! Jesus Christ! These guys take a bit of killing, don't they? I'll get over there, you a minute. You still alive, by the way? No, you're dead. Right, sweet. See how good the Desert Eagle is against these guys. Two headshots and it's over for him. It's not bad. One to knock the helmet off, one to take the head off. Not bad. Are you, are you just sat there reading? I'm dead. <laughs> I am fucking dead. Right. Enemy I have one skill point. Uh, damn. What can I spend it on? Uh, enhanced critical damage. Slow motion skill, chip modifier, health bonus. Do that, I guess. Where is he? There he is. Jesus Christ. Regrouping. Die, man. What the fuck? Right, so I'm guessing don't shoot him in the leg one. On the head, even.
Right. Give me that. God damn it. Well, now that I've figured out how to deal with that, um. That Merc leader. His head is completely bulletproof, you need to just shoot him in the leg. Jerry Jenkins serves time in prison. Go on. What is the situation here? The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die. I can't take him with me, and I'm not going to stay here. You stay with him. Only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer. Take some power. Yeah, got to be fully loaded. Enemy contact. Oh, damn it. So when it comes to the guys with the shotguns and the Merc leaders, aim for the legs because that's where the least armored. Right. Wait, Mark Two. Oh. Shot his leg off. Everyone, 
I think that's everyone. Take your shotgun shells. Damn. Alright, let's keep moving. Shotgun shells. Breach. SCP training disc. Damn. Give me that TV. Or computer, I guess. Can't see much. I'm just going to go back here real quick. See if there's anything in here that I can use like that. There we are. Go until that red marker. Right, well, I've got a minute. Make sure we're all loaded. We are. We are all loaded and ready to go. Make ID card, there's an org there. Um, nothing else in here I need. Let's keep her going. Recovery charge. More security here. Oh. oh, yeah. Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. <laughs> yeah, I'll go get him for you, man. The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Ready? Breach. Right. Not OCP charge. They're shooting at me from somewhere, I'm not sure where yet. Where I am now. Use the dumpster as a bit of a shield. I've done this before. How's that? Rally. 
Det är nog vad nöje som har. Där vi är. How's that? He said he gave up smoking. It's every time he lights a cigarette it happens. Interesting. Can't you get it through that thick skull? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. Right then. And you better hurry. Protect the innocent. Right, Alex, we need to get a move on, mate. Shit. Damn. Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I think they'd have already been been and gone now, though, in all honesty. Um Yeah. They would have been and gone by now. Oh wait, that's a good sign. Lewis. Oh shit. I think she's alright. He's all right. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. I would say get back in the bed, but I don't think you're safe here. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. Yeah, that Wendell true. guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, evaluation. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph. <laughs> Robocop, please have a seat. Right, how did I do, Doc? Or oh, engineer, scientist, sir, man. Wicked. Hey, nice. That's it from. Okay, we got more skills. We got more skills. Where is Doctor Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Oh, let's get a move on. Antonowski escapes from a high security prison. Now the cops are thinking about killing him. Oh, 
Gold or to Blanche. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do. Who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you. It's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone is comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. Right. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Okay. Where are you now? Home. Where's that? You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Report your findings. I'm not leaving here, so I know what happened. Lawrence. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? No. So. This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Nah, I'm alright. Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. Exactly. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you law. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Uh. All right. Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. Huh. Interesting. Oh, hello. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. Okay. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Sure. Unauthorized modification. Interesting. False in order, okay. In order. There's an authorized modification somewhere, and I'll find it. something? Yes. This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on me. Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their 
away and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. Interesting. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. Thank you. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuja. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? Yeah, of course. I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Depends. Support Ulysses Washington. Hello. Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not so. Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Okay. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're yeah, yeah. not going anywhere. Uh, Murphy, Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Fuck's sake. What? You called? I did, Frankenstein. Hey. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes... You know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the street. Did I support Mayor Kuzak?
Apparently I did. I don't remember doing that though, but sure. According to the game I did. Right, where are we going? New neighbourhood or back to the one we've been to three times already? Back to the one we've been to three times already. Jesus. Fishy situation, let's go with all that. I am indeed. Yes, let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good, keep me posted. Now you're gonna pay for it. What's going on? Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Come on. Let's go. Let's get him. Indeed. Go, oh, mom. Let's go. Get a move on. No, they don't. Hello. <laughs> he took my fucking hand off. All the fish are gonna go bad. I'll quit your wine and pop. Vince. Not like anyone can smell the difference. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money, so you better scram if you don't want trouble. I do not take orders from criminals. I am a police officer. I do not take orders from lowlifes. What the... What do you want, robot? I'm trying to be nice here. I, I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? Missed. Hello. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. But I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. There we are. Turn to the streets. Where I belong. <laughs> right. Side missions completed. Exit fish shop. Washington, that sounded like a proper gun fight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Let's see what's going on down here. Don't give this guy a ticket. Very poor parking, isn't it? Oh well. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's keep it going. Oh, I'm still trying to finish this 
game today, to be honest. Dun, 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 dun. Mmm. Locking a fire hydrant. Give you a ticket. Very dangerous. Excuse me. You two doing? Hmm. Is that a torch ad? They look like torch ads. Oh, I've got all the serves and protects on the map already. Gangstash. Which is good. Very good. Must be to do with my enhanced scanners. Speaking of enhanced scanners. Serve and protect, serve and protect. Spillage, is there? Yes. Ticket. Gangstash as well, let's go have a look at that. Let's go have a look at the gangstash. See what's interesting about it. Is it just behind this chain link fence here? Yes. Hello. Nuke, nuke. Meet with Dr. Blanche. Right. The police work's usually quite easy, to be honest. Vultures are here too. Oh damn, I can't get up there. I'm amazed Robocop can go upstairs. I do feel like he should be able to jump though. Public drinking. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. There is an open bottle of liquor by your side. I have to issue a ticket. Sure. Send the ticket to the third park bench at the promenade. Uh. And then another gang stash is in here. Not exactly inconspicuous, is it? There you are. That's that done as well. Time to do the cyber trail. Important thing is to find balance. Um, sure, you can work your ass off every day. 116, right. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about election. But they get free food for handing out. Enter the hotel. This is where um Ortiz is supposed to be meeting us. Oh no, Blanche. That's Blanche. Back already, Grumpy? With all those you're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. 
Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you... Jesus Christ. Knock on the door. She's already going to be dead, isn't she? It's you. Yep. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Yep. Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Don't think anything, Did you yeah. notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates hmm. from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. Interesting. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I can't be asked. I'm going to be honest. Fine, I'll do it anyway. To adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? I promise I to stick to it. to stick to it. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? As Alex Murphy? As a human. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. It's great to hear you still stand by it. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or oppose orders of his superiors to fight for a good cause? What an actual person glitch. Here's a point. You should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different. From a machine, you should not fear them, but embrace them. But okay. there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. Probably. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. Right. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to Terry determine Cruz? whether you're human or not, <laughs> my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't uh, you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I okay. have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Saw that one coming. Caution! She's not alone. Robocop is starting the target. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, they've set the hotel on fire. Oh God, were they here to kill me? Yes. We need to move. Where's his shotgun? There it is. I think. Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Come on. Ah. Follow me. Or run ahead of me. There she comes first. I don't know. Maybe you know too much. Maybe you know too much. That's a guess. That's what it is. You know too much. Follow me. Can we rest for a moment? No. We should not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room. Keep it going. I thought it was a person, it was a chair. Save the cat. There we are. Always save the cat. Follow the cat. Cat. It'll know the way out. It found Grumpy. Thank you so much. How about it? The sprinklers aren't working. Probably deactivated them. That's the problem. Oh. Be Lewis is blowing up. I will make a way. No, nope, it's not. There goes your fucking knee. Should we do now? Escape, leave. What do you think we should do? Jesus Christ, not very clever, are you? I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is thank you. How about My it? duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries. Be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that.
Signal tracking. To track the target's exact location, use a signal strength indicator in the upper left corner of your hood. The percentage value increases the more in that direction. Okay. Oh, I've done this before, actually. Yeah. Well, I've got a feeling Pickles is the one who's stolen it. And he stole it to so sell it because he needed money. I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative, Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Oh, what's happened here? Loose out. Okay. Past the theater. Down this alleyway. Okay, I think we're getting close. Oh, we're getting further away. Now we're also getting further away. It's the right way still. No. Huh. Okay. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Why is it not? Oh, there we are. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. I could probably move it. See if a World Cup can move this. This is 4.6 tons, by the way. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mountain. Look under the other Thank you very much. Thank you, citizen. Right. Through the sewers we go. Hmm. Another respectable citizen on the way to the sewer. Oh, another, eh? Respectable as well, so that makes it sound like someone who's quite smartly dressed Lewis, has gone down here. Wendell, maybe? I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken down the plans to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe. Okay. Oh shit. How long have they been dead? Recent. Very recent. Also very recent. There we are. 
Store power. Power is back. Can I now get back a punch? Oh, these guys have been dead for. Also recently. Damn. Right, let's go. Keep it moving. They were compl those mercenaries were complaining about not being paid as well before I started shooting at them. But I might be able to use my advantage at some point. Because as a, after all, a mercenary's loyalty isn't isn't earned; it's bought. OCP server. Can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. I wonder what they were up to. Stop them. Maximum performance. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. They are. Everywhere these guys, aren't they? It's not giving me a break. OCP turret, stationary enemy, lays heavy suppressive fire. Okay. Okay. I'd get it either. Let's keep it going. Hack them. Cool. Can't see my health because of my achievement. One minute. <laughs> Hello. Recharge. What were you? Gotta get the chance to later on, am I? Reload that. Breach. Hello.
Oh, hello. Thought I killed everyone. Tech 9. That's a new weapon. Not had a chance to use one of them yet. Sewage map of Detroit. So what else am I looking for? Oh, a computer. Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. Wicked. Turn to the streets. Could be the last little bit, this, guys. Here for it. Gonna be able to finally finish this game. Oh, damn, we're a bit away, aren't we? The gang stash over here. I might as well grab that while I'm here, yeah? So I guess it's. I'm assuming it's just in this garage here. No. Oh, it's there. Oh. More evidence. Good bit of XP, that. Huh? Right, let's head back. Well, let's head to the OCP headquarters. Can't miss you on there. This has to be the last, the final thing then, no? I'm kind of expecting to get ambushed on the way there. Which is no problem, because I can just shoot them all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just expecting it. Guess not. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Let's go, mate. Leave area. Said to OCP headquarters. Right. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. Okay. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Right. Just find where the afterlife presentation is. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. I know who How you may are, I help you? Lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. A meeting regarding hey, Bobo, afterlife you is this taking issue place having... right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. Okay. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. Uh. There's been a security breach I need to investigate. But someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. 
You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? No, it's all you talk about. I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I sure. will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Right. Monfa's investigation. Okay. Through here. And I'm guessing around yes. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? You don't have a key card? Need a warrant. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Okay, cool. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also the inside layer of the system. Right. that computer if the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it they'll be pissed hmm. well So, you're still here? Your conflict with the head of security, what is that about? He's a walking sack of ink. For example, my thing. Okay. Mike. I don't think that's relevant at all. I don't think that's relevant. What call? Distract the OCP guard, how? How do I do that? How does one do that then? Well, let's check these other rooms, maybe we can do something in these. Starting next month, OCP Silver card holders will no longer be allowed to use diamond relaxation areas. Yes, yeah, okay. Does that distract the guard? Apparently so, alright, no man. Fizz. 
Mercedes. Okay, there we go. Report to Samantha. There we go. Smashed it. Alright. Can you do it? Right, give that to Sam and then I can fuck off. Well, then I can go upstairs and see what this interview's about or this meeting. Might evolve into a shootout. Could be interesting. Is the stuff you wanted? Do you have them? You are. Good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But Thank you. There is one more issue. Saw it yourself. Footage. If I'm going to expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you? Destroying. Who's talking about that? All... Fine. I... Thank. Give me a piece of this. I got the code. I got the code, didn't I? Two seven eight one. Seriously. There you are. Now then. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. Sweet. Samantha's investigation completed it. Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Huh. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations so that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Bo Mills, Bo RoboCop. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no Whatever. entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is there required. There is no one here. Thank you. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich. For when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. Huh. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoy my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And 
since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. What a lot of shit. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. What the fuck? Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? No. So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Okay, where is he? Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I'm doing I it. disagree. Well, I'm doing it, so... <laughs> yep, I will. Uh, can someone take this robot away? Trying to work by looking out of a window, you prick. Shut up. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiled. Do you think they hung it upside down? Shut it. Old man. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. It's not the old man, is it? That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? Shut up. About Shut time it. the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell's still out, though. still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! What the fuck? It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. Gonna throw him out the fucking window. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. The old man is dead. Yeah. I 
just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Nothing. Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. Yep. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. Right then, leave OCP headquarters. Can do that. I can do that. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. <laughs> Rob bonus is safe. No one's watching the door, by the way. Yes, yeah, so let's leave. Oh, me here already. Nice. The man himself. You're here? Good. Yep. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. What's that? There's an old friend when Sorry guys, just just give me a second. Waiting for you there already. Alright, let's have a look at the skills real quick. Let's put some in combat. Ready. Uh why is it not? Yeah. We have to be on the lookout for Antonov. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome everyone to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements. In urban warfare. I thought it was being sold. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. That wasn't a minute. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. Hmm. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. And we need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm. UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test. The protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? No. The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so, my machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls showed that RoboCop's words and actions have influence ratings for both candidates several times already. 
So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support Mayor Kuzak. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. You fucking idiot. What is happening? I, I tried. Remote. That's what's happening. Contain the situation and let me think. I'll contain the situation by putting my foot up your ass. What was that? Fine. We must keep shooting, so be it. What the fuck? Little mini tanks. Little mini tanks. Say that, thank you very much. And one more. Everything. Now what? Did you remember? No, damn it. But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the expo depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. Okay. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! I need engineering six, though. I don't have that. Oh, yeah. Want me to actually what shoot it. Your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I opened the gate, you cleared the way to Hall C. You didn't. I, I fucking opened it. Your memory is glitchy. Shut up, Blitz. Reload, give me a minute. Give me a minute, chaps, I'll be right with you. There we are. Discontinued. 
continue the fight. Discontinue the fight, eh? Okay. Satisfied? No. Satisfied? Now what? Now to the gate. We'll reach the depot from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Those UEDs are my ticket straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device. How does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. Why is this the device? Oh, fuck's sake. You've got to fight and add 209 now. Give me that. Nope, I ain't putting down shit. Ten bullets left. Got to be an MG somewhere, surely. Gotta be an MG somewhere. You now have 15 seconds to go by. You have zero. Jesus Christ. Give me that. That's what I wanted. And I'm out. A rocket launcher. There we are. Right. Let's just move. Let's just keep moving. Back here, get this door open. Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? I'm willing to make it. It's not you who's gonna die though, is it? Been destroyed already. Oh no. There he is. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. Sorry, 
I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Jesus Christ. Get in here. There's a reason I can go in here. Gonna lose more than your fucking hand. Continue. We must go after Wendell. Should be here somewhere. Shut it. Shut it. Who's that? Is that Ulysses? Um, this way? No, yes. Alex Murphy. Shut it. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. Are you really there? Yep. Plus twelve. Oh god, damn it! We must erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time. Never could have won. Why is that? Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip OCP implanted in your brain. The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh, now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We've packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Mine. The city of Detroit. Nice. You're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. Oh, damn it. Go oh, fucking damn it. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? 
in so much pain. Mm. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? Uh. How do we do that? I think I can help. Uh. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? No. It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted was. Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags. Typical of that. What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire. She's right. I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. I mean, can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Well, Never stopped yeah. us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I On thought it. you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure, why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Doesn't matter. Dumb. Well, that's a lot of uncommon calls. Yep. So you've been Murphy's substitute partner? I, I guess so. Let's go. This has to be the final mission now, surely. Surely. Oh, they've got a turret in the back of that truck. My God, look at this place. Could things get any worse? Yes. They always can. Yep, please do. The stage is at the riverfront. We are almost there. 
Wendell guy thinks he can toss us aside. We'll show him who runs this town. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to see the inauguration. <laughs> you like to vote? Let's vote! All in favor of kicking this guy's ass? Aye. Aye. Nay. Uh -huh. I thought you said all the cops were fired. They were! Free scumbags! I'll just shoot them. Fuck it. Come get some! Ah. Gotta push through. Shoot them. Oh. I don't know what that was, but it didn't want to glitch. Still glitching. Hey. Yeah, mate. You're no, you an OCP agent? We've got to push through. Give me that. That's that damn OCP, isn't it? They want to ruin the city because their guy lost the election. But I won't let them do that. People voted for me, I owe them that. So, officer, tell me what's the situation. Every gang in the city is out for payback. They're not happy that Wendell used them, and his TV appearance didn't help. What about those damn robots, though? Can we use them to protect the city? Not really. They're under Wendell's full control. Ah, murders and criminals. That's what OCP is. But there must be something we can do. We must uphold the law, and we must catch Wendell Atanowski. We need to find him first. Luckily, Wendell likes to see himself on the big screen. How does that help? The message you broadcast. I can track its signal, but I'll need a little time. We can buy you some time, rookie. I don't want to interrupt, but some damned robots want to join your party. Great. We can't let them do that, partner. Can we? No. Give me a bigger gun. I'll make sure it doesn't. Any advice on how to deal with them? Shoot them. Exactly. See? Robo gets me. There it is. That's what I wanted. But not all of them. That was one more there. Is that all of them? Behind me somewhere. How was that? Murphy, I'll stay here with the mayor and watch out for the rookie while he tracks Wendell. Cool. You need to go out there and contain the situation. It's time to protect the innocent, Murphy. Hold on. I was made to do that. Murphy, all hell broke loose. People are calling about crimes happening all over the city, but three right. stand out. Those should be your priority. Firstly, a two or nine strikes back. Right. So go this way. Torch had set fire to one of the apartment buildings. There are people still stuck inside. You need to get them out. Secondly, street vultures are loading up a van full of explosives at their newly annexed chop shop. Seems they want to make a statement. Stop them before they do. Thirdly, the mercenaries Wendell hired got a hold of an ED-209 from that military expo. They let it loose, and it's wreaking havoc in front of the town hall. Hey, Tin Man. I've been picking up the dispatch phone ever since you left. People need help all over town. It's too many to handle, so I'll be directing all the incoming calls straight to you. Good luck, Tin Man. We put down your weapon. No. Nope. 
a missile launcher anyway. More like it. How are you getting on with that tracker, rookie? We're in luck. The signal wasn't cut off. They must have left in a hurry after they made the broadcast. But this whole OCP communications thing is a mess. Right, there's some uh, street vultures around somewhere. I missed. <laughs> there we are. The boss that hurts, called a bullet. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't over there. I, I, I tried oh, Daniel, to shit. Out. I really tried, but smoke and... Is your mother inside? Yes, can you? There are police officers on the promenade. Go there. I will save your mother. <laughs> Let's find her. Oh God, I can't open the door. Can Go on. Watch out for smoke, citizen. Get out. Damn. Shit. Come on. Go to there you the go. exit. Your safety is a priority. But I can't. Oh, God. I can't leave without my little kitty. Oh, please help me find her. See. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where is she? Where's the cat? He's looking for a cat, right? Oh, got it. The way to the exit is safe. Keep your head down. Uh, I gotta make sure no one else is in the building. Gotta help everyone. Gail, where are you? <coughs> is, is that you? <coughs> I was waiting. I will get you out. Ah! 
Wait, what? What happened there? Shrek Gale outside the building. Right, I don't know why it decreased to 0% last time so quickly. It was, that was actually rather quite weird, wasn't it? Alright, come on. Mom, you're safe. I told you to go to the promenade. promenade. I have to protect my mom. I have to. I've, I've already failed her once. Where's the other two, anyway, that I helped out? Courage is not pointlessly exposing yourself to danger. Now go to the promenade. The promenade, sir. Of course. Can can you walk, Mom? Yes. Yes, I can. You're very strong, Daniel. Strong and brave, just like your father. Watch out, there are some lunatics on motorcycles. You out. Defeat all enemies and save the new arcade owner. You the last one? How's that? Happy? Satisfied? My business. What about Just it? Just make sure there are no children here during school hours. Ah, loosen up. At least there are no drugs here. Yeah, true. It was last time we came here, wasn't it? It was a bank. Why has that not come off? There we go. Where's he going? 
little bastard. You're safe. You saved me. I can't thank you enough. What about it? I appreciate your attempt to keep the city clean. Thank you. And uh, don't worry about me. I, I live in the building. I locked myself upstairs. Good man. You go do that, mate. Right, reload the pistol. There's a guy on a bike outside causing a bit of trouble. Where is he? Oh. Torch heads are back. Dead it. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure the guy in the um, in the shop as well in the convenience store said that he was um, under fire. Have it. It was a good shot. That. So you give me a Desert Eagle and I'm a force to be reckoned with. No matter what game it is. <laughs> Shit. Doors on fire. Anyway, I can help him, or is it just a lost cause? Through the back, maybe. Rubicon, please, hey, you gotta help me. I'm trapped. There's fire everywhere, and I can't get the door to open. Please, do something. Come. On. Oh, oh. Thank heavens. Oh. It is my duty to help. Local stores build a sense of community. Now find the police on the promenade. Gotcha. I'm on my way. Oh, ma'am. Right, let's go deal with that chop shop. And I've got the shooting at the video rental place as well. Right. There's so many things to deal with, Jesus. Hard being a cop. I've still got my Desert Eagle though, so... Like I say, I'm a force to be reckoned with when I have this gun. Where'd that gun go? He had a Desi. And I'd like more ammunition. That's all today. Saved him. Twice now I've gotten into a shooter's house at your shop. Lock the door and stay here. Someone should definitely make a movie about you. You were amazing. Yeah, about that. <laughs> As for my store, I'll get compensation from the city, right? If there's anything of the city left when that when tonight's done, mate, yeah.
Right, opens the door. Right. That leaves only one thing to deal with. However, that's maxed out. Maxed out damage stat. Let's go. It's a one shot chest shot now. Damn. <laughs> I've just made the Desert Eagle more powerful. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's really fun to do that. If you shoot the hand off when they're falling, just punch them in the face. It's really fun to do it. I don't know why. Blah, bitch! <laughs> Woo. You stop us. You're late. We took our toys and they're ready for play. Damn machine. Where's that coming from? A blur. There it is. Took a few shots, didn't it? Right. There's someone else upstairs as well. Commander or something. Find out what the biker gang is up to. Probably stealing shit again. That's what they were doing last time. I'm gonna be honest. Oh hello. That's interesting. They're gonna blow the bridge up. So, did you learn anything about the vultures' plans? They want to blow up the bridge. You need to stop them. Otherwise, where will I get my maple syrup? <laughs> I am heading there now. What is your status? Don't worry about us. We're doing just fine. I don't believe you. If you need me to, I can come back, help you out, and go help whatever this is. I'm a, I'm very good at getting between A and B, considering I, I don't move very quickly. <laughs> at all. Gangstash, yeah, sorry, but I don't really care. Keep it going. Off. There we go. Right, so they're trying to blow this bridge up somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Yep. Enemy transmission detected.
There you go. They're all fucking dead. to the sewers. Because for some reason, these guys are blow up the fucking bridge. Spike, and is he down here? Caution, high explosives. Don't shoot any explosives. Okay, I'm guessing it's all gonna go to shit if I do. Should be fine. It was a minute ago. Bye. He moved just as a shot. He moved just as a shot. Not shoot any explosives, or try not to. One guy left. Let's screw him up. Wait, that counted as blowing up the explosives? Alright. Bang then. Got them all? Oh no, there's more downstairs. Okay. had a rocket launcher. What's the situation? Live explosives need deactivating. Do you need bomb squad assistance? Touch wires from highest to voltage to lowest voltage. I will manage. Okay. Let's trace the wire. Did you need uh That one. And 24. That one. 21 is the next one, which is that one. The 19, which is purple, which is quite easy because it's that one. Then the 16, which is this one. Uh, then that's 12. 9 is the brown one. Green is 
Fuck. Did it. I saw he had five seconds, I just I, I just winged it. <laughs> Have you managed? Yes. I winged it last second, guys. <laughs> Fuck, I panicked. But I did it. It's fine. Yeah, I couldn't be bomb squad after that. Fuck that. Right then. Now that the streets have been cleaned up. What now? Uh, where are we going? Okay. Keep going. Huh? Come on. Distance away, that weren't it? Keep it going, keep it going. Find the signal source, so Wendell should be around here somewhere. Then, yeah. I've saved most of them. I think I've saved everyone actually that I could. Nice, we've got the police here. Did someone call for backup? Yes. Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. But well, ma'am. Yeah. That's right. What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll we are. get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag. Yes, sir. There's going to be an ear, isn't he? Somewhere. Surely. There's a reason we couldn't go in the bottom though earlier, I'm saying. Because they wouldn't let us, would they? See if um, Wendell has his mercenaries now or if he's I just replacing all of his robots. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the afterlife project. So this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. For now. Could be a trap. Most definitely is a trap. That's a pair of brains and lung. The brain and some lungs, that. Huh? Evidence of illegal human experiments. Wendell, I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? To proceed, yep. I must find the code to a locked door. That is police work at its most basic. Your favorite. Access code no match. Great. I don't have to check every single computer, am I? Great.
No match, damn it. Come on. Yes. Oh. Also, I found the door code. I am continuing pursuit. We've escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're going to nice join one. Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit chat after that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages. Nice. So you just still have the mercs down here with him. Oh, it's now daytime. It's now daytime. What the fuck? Check it out. It's Delta City first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. This is Delta City. Aren't we lucky? This place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and I'm telling you, I'm Wendell's right hand man, so if he's the king of Delta City. So I was thinking, once Delta City's That's not a fucking song again, is it? Well, like like the well, find Wendell Antowowski. Ambush time, I'm gonna get ambushed. Yep. Didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? The most free society there is, where everyone is equal. As long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers. Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now, where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop. Smoking kills. Mm. So, you finally took care of that, huh? We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired. Check out his legs. Off these guys are. Give me that. There we are. How's that? Can you believe this metal fuck? He is still standing. It was to keep him busy, sir. We're preparing a full blown attack behind the gate. Right then. Give me that. Is it all me though? Is it really? Try tripling. You might have a chance then.
Oh, are we? Robocop has entered the construction site. Am I off? Robocop has entered the site. That wasn't part of the plan. Minor drawback. Cobra assault cannon operatives are getting into position. There's no way past that force. Cobra assault cannon, eh? Now we're talking. Yes, sir. The best money can buy. Keep going, brave little man. Just a little further. Yeah, indeed. Blitz troops, the ones with shotguns. Nothing will bring back your old life except me. I'm now the only person with access to after life technology. Do you really want to throw this chance away? Cobra assault cannon. It's the sniper rifle from the fucking thing. That's why it sounded so goddamn familiar. Jesus. Damn. It's the sniper from the fucking movies. No wonder it sounded so familiar. Do it. Do you really want to throw my ass away? Following orders. Gotta get rid of the snipers first. Might make it easier, you see. You're fucking right, I'm resistant. We got you. And everyone. No, we got one more coming up. Come on then. Wait a minute. No, he's just falling through the map. I think. I think he'll eventually die, hopefully. Keep it going. Give me that, I've got a feeling I'm going to need that.
definitely not being paid to get slaughtered. Come on. Have to reload. Okay, you're just shrugging that off, are you? Wish this reloaded faster. I don't know which turret I've just hacked, would have hacked one of them. I should have gone straight through his head, I can't lie. Whatever. Whatever. Give me the... There we go. Right, there we are. I can grab this, but let me recover from this first. Right up to 100. Nice. Pursue Wendell. Should be up here now. He's gonna be nowhere to be seen. Hack this turret as well. Get friends where I can. Let's go two people with the deep right there we are. LMG time. Some more LMG action coming right up. Can't be that many left now. Right, bear with me. Like I said earlier, the mercenary's loyalty has earned its bought. Can't pay, then they'll take it away. There's a fellow there on one of these.
might be the only thing that helps me here. Come on. Come on now. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hacked these turrets and they did fuck all to help me. Ooh. There we are. Made it to the roof. So, everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for. Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. I have bigger fish to fry. You ungrateful fucks! You closed the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city! Surrender, or there will be trouble. I still have an army. That will fight no matter what. Mm. So, How long? Robo cop, prepare to meet your demise. Oh fucking hell! Who shot his hand off? Now there is trouble. Was that Robocop that shot his hand off? Stay away! Stay the hell away! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. He said it. He said it. Throwing this opportunity away. Useless fucking machines. Can't you see? OCP is lying to you. I was the only one who was frank with you from the start. Yeah, of course you were. You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. Well, they wanted you emotional to better manipulate you. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise.
you hunt criminals down, oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. After all, don't no put the blame then on me. Why don't die like one? You first. Right, we do it. We did it. Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski dead? Dead. Deceased. Rotting insanity. corpse. Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep, but I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job. Nice one, Matt. Damn. Another shift. Hello. So it's true. He's dead? Yep. I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. Yep. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. To, uh, I realized that light. blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide an I'm sorry somewhere in all this. Mm -hmm. Noted. I'm glad. See you out there, Robo. You will. You help Samantha in the pursuit of her truth. It's Ulysses. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. You help Ulysses become a competent cop. Very nice. This is like um, like a telltale thing where it says what you've done for everything, and everyone. So Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame. Cause the guy from the Holy Cow joint, the diary, the doctor. It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. My time here is over. I'm sorry that my work contributed to causing you so much pain. You could not have known. Did our meetings change how you perceive machines, Doctor? Well, that was never the purpose. Anyway, Did it? I'll finish up collecting my things and I'll be on my way. Goodbye, Robocop. 
Dr. Blanche remains skeptical of machines. Oh. Alright. All fucking pointless, weren't it? Check on everyone. So who's the last? Is it Lewis? Oh, Pickles. How are you doing, lad? We've got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. But that did not stop you. You proved competent. Not to pat myself on the back, but I really did. Just, who knew that selflessly helping others is so exhausting? And rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may be onto something there. I checked on the folks that called in to make sure they're safe. And they were. Uh, but now... You I help Pickles turn his way. Beauty sleep. I can't believe I'm the only one here. Don't they know there are mattresses back here? Uh. They probably mind the vomit stains. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. See you around, partner. Okay, now what? Bobo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. Oh, sure. That you, partner? Where are you? Are you there? You're back. So it's done. Yep. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? Yes. He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you going to stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm Therapist. glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this. See what? Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Okay. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos. Most importantly, who is going to stop it? I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. Okay, is that it? Getting credits? No? Still more shit. <laughs> the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. On the hurricane. Stay alert. Sorry. Just to get the area. Robocop 2, no. That's what my guess is. How long?
Ah, oh, shit. Exactly where that is. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. Positive. Yep. But sure as I love it, eh? It's going to be Robocop 2 that was on the podium. No one left in the building. Will do, partner. Is this it? No? Is that yet? Yes, no. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It, it, something. I... Western corner, yeah. Be this careful. way. It's gonna be Robocop too, and I already know what it's gonna be. Uh, uh, oh, Max Becker. What, what do you want from me? Yeah, the uh, Robocop too. Robocop, my number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. I'm not bothered that Max is dead. Max was a prick. And it is because they can look past your metal exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison creep. <laughs> Back off.
Where is he? I need something that can do a bit more damage. I made a hole in here I can go for it. I don't think he has this. Keep going, keep going. I don't know where he is. Oh. I don't know if I died there or if I just survived long enough. You will not win this. Well, we're going down. Um, we got everyone out. Be careful. The building will not hold. You need to get yourself out of there. I am in the middle of something. Oh, fuck. These aren't good enough. These weapons aren't good enough. Grenade launcher.
doesn't do nearly as much as it should have done. Oh, come on. this motorbike roll this at him Jesus Christ oh Took it to another cutscene. Don't let it get away, Robo. Come on, we got it. Going somewhere. Grenade launcher, more, right, nice. Jesus Christ. Give me that. I don't think that grenade launcher's got any ammo. It's nearly over. Into the Tech 9. No! Oh. But if I don't, I don't. He might come back. I don't. 
And if he still has an opportunity to come back, I wouldn't. I don't want that. Time to go. I thought if I didn't finish him off, he'd still have an opportunity to come back, and that's what I didn't want. I thought you said you weren't going to stay with Channel 9. Media break. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Blech. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso. From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Right. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. Hold on. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. <sighs> Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Finally, we know what is more dangerous than the lack of an ozone layer. Sunblock 5000 model torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to its instructions. The only Fucking witness hell. to the tragedy, Dr. Olivia Blanche, was left delirious after the incident. She stated that mechanical lawman was not to be trusted. We will miss you, Melissa. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists after trying pardon. to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP. Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denied. Wait. Here We're is no silver lining resist. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. Jesus. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former mm. OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Yeah, Moving fuck on, Becker. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. Jesus Christ. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington. And according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. Nope. He saved a cat as well. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? 
Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! Monty Sharp, drunk guy. <laughs> many more years on the force robocop hopefully it's been a busy time for detroit but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike we're ready to serve said officer ann lewis who returned to duty despite her recent injury what heroism indeed detroit can sleep soundly tonight the question is for how long that's all for today this was casey wong until next time Now what? There you are, credits, nice one. Developed by Tion. Never heard of that. Never heard of that company. But, there we are. That is um, Robocop Rogue City completed. Um, now, I didn't mind this game, I think it was good. But I do think some of the missions dragged on a little bit. But in saying that, I enjoyed this game. There was a lot of side activities as well, and I didn't think there would be any side activities. I thought it would just be mission to base, going from mission to mission, but fortunately it wasn't that, which I appreciate. It wasn't open world, open world, but I had a lot more stuff to do than I thought I would. But to give it a rating, I'd probably, might be being a bit harsh here, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, it, it's it's a RoboCop game. It does everything you expect a RoboCop game to do, but in terms of a game, it doesn't do anything spectacular. It's just a point and it's just literally a first-person shooter where you play as RoboCop and kill criminals, solve um, mysteries and stuff like that. It's not. It doesn't really stand out. But, in saying that, it's probably the best RoboCop game out. So if you're a RoboCop fan, you'd probably enjoy this. I've never seen any of the movies. So, I can't really speak on that matter. And, um, this was its own original story, which does a lot of favours for uh, video games. Video games based on movies don't really work. But when they have their own original story, they tend to work. Like the Mad Max video game, for example, that does really well because it's its own original story. It doesn't copy any of the existing Mad Max films. Obviously, there's elements there, like you, you get the War Boys mentioned and the Buzzards and stuff like that. But it's its own original story, and it's the same with Robocop. You know, it's its own original story. So it doesn't follow the story of a movie too much or anything like that. Because usually when video games are made and they follow a story from a movie, it ends up going really badly. The only one... The only one that I'd say is exempt from that is X-Men Origins Wolverine. That is a movie based on a video game. Well, that is a video game based on a movie. But many people say the video game is better than the movie. Because the movie's dog shit. <laughs> anyway, we've got a post credit scene here, I think. Maybe. No, that's it. So what happens now then if I choose to play again? Oh, you get new game plus. New main campaign, new game plus. New game plus is quite cool. Options, you get any like character model viewers or anything like that? No, you don't. Well, there you have it then. That's Robocop Rogue City. Um, it was made by a very small team. And looking at the credits and seeing what a small team it was made by, it might actually go up to a 7 out of 10. Now that I um, pay attention to who's made the game and looking at the um, credits, it wasn't a big team that made this game, so you have to give a bit more respect to that. 
And um, it was it's made by a company called a games company called Taon, and I've never heard of that company before. They might have made other games. Let's see what else they've made. Let's go on to Safari here and um, just see what else they've made. Taon Games Company. See what else they've made. They've made the Terminator Resistance game, uh, Monster Truck. See if there's anything. Um, more mainstream that people know. Um, the, the, it actually, looking at it, it looks like they're known for making video games based on movies. Like, they've done a few Terminator video games. They've done a Rambo one. Um, and there's a few others from the 90s. So they've been around for a while. They've just not made anything... Um, stands out and I'm assuming Taeon are owned by someone else uh, let me have a look at that owned owner it's a Polish video games company that's that's interesting oh it's independent That's quite interesting. It's an independent company. Um, and it's in Poland, so... It looks like CD Projekt Red isn't the only um, game company in Poland now. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rec If you... In all honesty, would I recommend you play this game? Um, if you're a Robocop fan, it, you might enjoy it, yes. I'd say. But if you're looking for a first person shooter with um, really good mechanics and things like that, then yes, play it. But if you're looking for a like a mystery game where you go around solving mysteries, kind of like similar to L.A. Noir, don't play it. Because that's not what you'll be doing. Majority of the game is killing people and scanning a few things that's the only detective work you kind of do is you just scan a few things and that's it there's only the one mi mission at the start with the murder mystery which is kind of where you do a bit of detective work but if you want to do a detective game you're more um this is not f this is not what you should be looking at honestly if you want a detective game i recommend la noir um sherlock holmes and the devil's daughter and um all the other sherlock holmes games actually but RoboCop Rogue City is not that game. However, you want a good, you want a fun first-person shooter with good mechanics. That's challenging to a degree. Yes. You want a RoboCop game? Yes. Anything else? No. <laughs> well, that's all for me, guys. So take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in a bit.